Hello guys, welcome to 4K channel. Today I'm bringing you this supersized banknote from Ming Dynasty, one of the earliest known paper money in the world. It's over 600 years old. Ming Dynasty was founded by Emperor Hang Wu, who was a peasant, uh, who later became a monk, and then a rebel leader, and eventually an emperor. So the Ming Dynasty came into existence after the Mongols of Yang Dynasty were ousted. And during the earlier part of Ming Dynasty, there was still struggle to keep the Mongols away from the Northern Territory. So there was this ongoing war which required finances and there was a shortage of copper coins which led to the invention of paper money. Now this particular specimen is a replica, a pretty pretty high quality replica, good enough for uh, uh, illustration purposes. The original banknote was printed uh, on a velvety soft mulberry bark tree. Basically what they did was they would strip the bark from mulberry tree, grind it into pulp, then uh, they would dry it into thin sheets. That's how they would get the paper. And then the printing process was basically block printing, where they would carve out characters and uh, design into a block of wood and then dip that block of wood into black ink and then press on the paper uh, to get, get the printing. And then they would let the paper dry and eventually they would uh, put these you know, hand stamp red seals on it. So, uh, this banknote uh, basically is from 1368. The value is one koan. And uh, this is the front of the banknote. Right on top, we have six characters reading from right to left. And basically, it translates into Great Ming Circulating Treasure Certificate. And then underneath it, we basically have the banknote divided into rows and columns. And we'll start right up here. So on top here, we have two characters, which basically uh, translates into one quan, which is the value of this banknote. Right underneath it, in this square here, if you look closely, you have this pictorial representation of the value. So if someone doesn't, can't read, they can look at the picture and figure out the value of this banknote. And basically, one quan translates into a thousand copper coins. And what they have done is they have shown you 10 strings of 100 copper coins. So these copper coins had hole in the center so you could stack them up and run a string through them. So you got, you know, 100 uh, stacks, stack of 100 copper coins. And then there's a total of 10 stacks. So that translates into thousand copper coins or thousand cash which is equal to one quan, which is pretty interesting. And on either side here, vertically oriented, you have the seal style writing and it translates into a great Ming treasure certificate to circulate forever under the heavens. Basically, uh, imperial guarantee for this banknote, they're backing up their banknote by a guarantee. Right underneath here, we have a lot of text. And this is basically the counterfeit uh, deterrence. And basically, it says uh, this banknote is printed by the Ministry of Revenue with the approval of the Emperor. Counterfeiters will be beheaded and any informant will get all of the property of the criminal plus 250 teals of silver. So basically, you know, to death with counterfeiting and then any informant would be rewarded. 
Now, all along this border here, it's kind of hard to see. This is where you have this very ornate design with dragons. I don't know, maybe you can make out a dragon here and a dragon up here. So dragons are a common, you know, a cultural motif, also representation of the emperor and imperial China. So that's the front of the banknote. There's actual two red seals which have faded. And even on the original banknote, you can hardly see those red seals. And later in the video, I will actually uh, describe exactly what's on these seals. Now let's turn this banknote over. This is the back of the banknote. We have a separate seal, the imperial seal. And on the back is uh, another reprint of the same value and the pictorial representation of the value, similar to the design up front. So this is what this banknote looks like. Uh, this banknote is huge. I could not fit it into my album, uh, full-size album. So this is quite large. And um, if you have an original, uh, it costs over $10,000 minimum, depending on the conditions and if it's graded, uh, this could run into $100,000. Uh, or close to it. So please watch the video till the end. Leave me a like. I spent a lot of time and effort gathering all the information about this banknote and different aspects of this note. So I hope you would find that interesting. Keep collecting.